It's the magic of math here, and today we're going to be slicing a 3D figure and determining the two-dimensional face formed. Here's our question today. This two-dimensional shape is the result of slicing a three-dimensional figure. This is our two-dimensional shape. We're asked which of the following describes a way of slicing a three-dimensional figure that would result in the given shape. So here are your four answer choices. Your turn. You're going to pause the video, pick your answer choice from the four, and then come back and hit play to see my work. Good luck. Welcome back. So we're going to figure out which of the following descriptions is a description of slicing a three-dimensional figure that would result this two-dimensional figure. So choice A says we're going to be slicing a right rectangular pyramid. So here we're doing a pyramid parallel to its base. So here is a right rectangular pyramid. It's a rectangular pyramid because the base is rectangular and this pyramid because all those lateral faces form at a point at a vertex here. And we're going to slice this parallel to the base. So parallel to the base means I'm going to slice it across. So if I do that, I can see that that would be a rectangle. It's parallel to that rectangular base. So I think it's A. Let's continue and look at the rest. B says we're gonna slice a rectangular pyramid perpendicular to its base. If we do that perpendicularly to the base, we're gonna go down through the top of it and you can see that we would have a triangle. So when we do that, we're gonna go through three faces, right? We go through this lateral face, this lateral face, and then the base. So one, two, three, we get a triangle. Slice, so it can't be B. C says we're gonna slice the right rectangular prism through exactly three of its faces. So this is a pyramid. A prism would be like, think of a shoe box or a cereal box. But if we're only going through three faces, just like we did here, base, side face, side face, we're gonna get a triangle. So it can't be C. D says we're going to slice a right rectangular pyramid exactly through three of its faces. So again, if we're going to go through three faces, just like we did here, one, two, three, we're going to get a triangle. So the answer choice here to get a four-sided rectangle is going to be choice A, slicing the right rectangular pyramid parallel to its base. And that's how you go ahead and you slice a 3D figure parallel to the base or vertical to the base. Thanks for joining me today at The Magic of Math, where we continue to master math one video at a time.